Hey, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to French braid. Part down the middle. Next, you section one side off with an elastic. I'll move it nice and close so you see what I do. So to begin, I like to grab three pieces. So one, two, and three. Two, three. And obviously the smaller the pieces that you take, the closer it'll be to the middle part. So when I have all three pieces, one, two, three, I take the underneath one, and then I'm gonna put it under the middle one. Take the middle one, put it over the one I just put underneath. Take the third piece and put it underneath, and then pull tight so that it's nice and tight to my scalp. So the next section, I'm going to pick up a piece of hair from the section underneath. So pick that, and then repeat the same motions. Put it under, pull, and then when I grab the outside section, I'm gonna grab a bit more hair too, take it, and then put it underneath. And repeat. Take it, underneath, and repeat. And then I flip my hands around so that I'm able to get the back. And then when I'm here, I like to bring it out and then braid the face. what it looks like once I've finished braiding everything nice and tightly. Like I said, I like to pull out my baby hairs and I like to pull out my uh, sideburns to give it kind of like a messier look. Any kind of flyaways or bumps you can fasten with a bobby pin. Easy fix. You can even go through and kind of make the braids a bit bigger or looser if you want that kind of looser braid look. Just go through and pull them apart gonna stay there because it's, it's tight. I braided them really tightly on my head. The Obviously the looser you pull them, the bigger the braid's gonna be. You can do it at the base too. Since I cut my hair recently, I cut off six inches. It used to be past my chest and now it's very short, so my braids are a lot shorter than they used to be, so I have a lot of flyaways. Just gonna pin all the flyaways in place. Had to open the door because my cat was screaming and he really wanted to come in so the rest of the video the door is going to be open. So after we've done the braiding and securing all the flyaways into place, I did this when my hair was still wet and uh, now I'm just going to straighten my sideburns with my um, love straightener. The original term for this style of braid was called boxer braids, so people would actually braid your hair like this for boxing. So. That's the final French braid look. You don't actually have to braid it all the way to the bottom. Sometimes I put the base in a bun. Actually, I do wear this to work a lot. It's very convenient and cute. You tie it in a bun and get kind of the medieval Khaleesi Mother of Dragons braided style. This is what it looks like when it's in a bun. Turn around, you can see the back. Nice. Yeah, so very quick, very easy. Once you know how to French braid, then you can do multiple different styles with braids. Sometimes I do two French braids, like I said, and leave the half, other half down. Sometimes I do little buns on the end, and then sometimes I do this look and just leave it. Other times I just let it let it be with the braids. So thank you. If you like this look, let me know, and uh, I can do more. Thanks for watching. Bye.